The drive set contains the following. The wheel hub motor for the front wheel or, as in this case, for the back wheel. The torque sensor, which is integrated in the button bracket. The display with a control unit. The control housing with a circuit board. The carrier. The slide rail. And the assembly parts. The battery charger for the lithium ion accumulator. The lithium ion accumulator. Depending on your version of the gear set, it may also contain a turning handle as well as a Y connecting cable for the attachment of the brake contacts in order to receive a recuperation signal. Start by unpacking all parts and remove the remaining packaging. Check if all parts were included and if they are undamaged. Immediately complain to the sender about potential damages in transit. First, the motor is laced into the rim. For front wheel motors, a steel fork should be used. If you intend to use an aluminum fork, you need an approval by the fork manufacturer. The same applies to the suspension forks. The exact measurements for installation widths, rim diameter as well as spoke length can be found in a table contained in your instruction sheet. When lacing the wheel, make sure that all spokes in both flanges of the respective wheel are always pointing in the same direction. In the front wheel they should all point to the left and in the back wheel, like in our case, to the right. All spokes lead to the rim without any crossing. Once the wheel is laced, the sprocket attached and the tire mounted, you can prepare the carrier. First, the slide rail, to which the battery will be attached later on, is fastened to the carrier with three countersunk screws, nuts and washers at the position of the assembly holes. Now we will attach the headstay. To do so, we loosen the screws and push the headstay with the inflection to the upper side through the eyelets. Then the headstay can be turned downwards and the screws roughly tightened. Next is the installation of the control housing. It is pushed into the carrier and fastened to the previously attached slide rail with two countersunk screws from below and with one screw from above. Also the provided lights are screwed to the bicycle and adjusted. Put the pre-assembled carrier aside. In order to fit the inner bearing and the cable, Drill a hole for the cable into the bottom bracket tube. Determine the center with a slide gauge and center punch the drilling point with a hammer. Pre-drill with a size 5 drill and then use a size 10 drill. Now you have the required diameter which will fit your cable later on. In order to avoid damage to the cable outer case, carefully deburr the drilling point with a file or with a countersink tool. Lightly screw the left cover of the inner bearing with your hand into the screw thread. Use a torque wrench to tighten it. Pay attention to the specifications provided by the manufacturer. From the other side, Push the sensor cable through the hole you just drilled, insert the inner bearing and screw on tightly. Torque down the crank arms on the axis and again pay attention to torque specifications by the manufacturer. Carefully put the wheel into the chainstay. The cables should run the same way they shall be fixed to the frame later on. The dropout has to be sufficiently long for a safe installation of the motor. Only this guarantees a reliable fixing of the motor axis and of the torque arm. To fix the pre-assembled carrier to the chainstay, adjust it with a water level and tighten the screws that were part of the set. Fit the display and the control unit to the handlebar. If the brake and gear levers are in the way, place them further towards the left or the right in order to create space for the control unit. Now connect the cables. 
First, connect the power cable with its counterpart and screw it together with your hands. Then the motor signal cable is put together. Next, connect the display cable. Finally, the cable of the torque sensor is attached. Bundle the cables at the tube. Little by little, fix all cables with cable ties from the rear end to the handlebar. Once the system is installed and connected, slide the battery via the slide rail into the carrier until the lock clicks into place. The electric connection is in addition supported by a magnet within the connector. Finally, you parameterize the system on your computer with the Heinzmann software. To do so, open the software on your computer. Connect the parameterization cable to the USB port. Turn on the display at the handlebar and connect the display cable with the parameterization cable, which is already linked to the computer. Now carry out the software settings and then upload the data into the inverter of the drive system. The bicycle is now ready for a tour.